Hello, this is Uncle Spock with Just Not Enough Mods 2, episode 26. Um, between episodes, I did do some mining. I uh, got a, a few items, and as we can see, we are running quite a bit low on power. Uh, not even the power, but uh, distribution of power. So one of the things we're going to have to do is definitely upgrade our cables and a few other things as well. I got some of the stuff prepared and ready to do a few things that I wanted, which number one, I got a couple under pearls in there now. And that would be getting into industrial four going. I want to get a water concentrator, so I had to keep filling up both the reactor and our ice maker. I did upgrade our tank to level three, which gives us quite a bit of water, but still that requires going to uh, places to fill that stuff up. And then the other thing too, I have to keep filling this guy up with coolant as well. And putting ice and all that good stuff. Uh, I wanna start making packed ice. I actually want to make blue ice because I want to make dry ice, but until then I'm kind of just going back and forth, just putting enough so it's always has some in here so we're not running out of this uraninite. And I want to keep only half a stack in here at a time, just so I have power when I exactly when I need it. And we don't have enough power to go into this. Let's, wondering if I can like disable that. Turned on, turn on, oh, I didn't know I could do that. But what I probably could do, which would be really easy too, is if I just got cobblestone and I don't have a stick. Let's go get us a stick here real quick. Oh, really? Okay. Now the fun part would be to find where the stuff is. There we go. Got a stick. Uh, all I wanted was a lever. Because if I put that here, can I turn you off? Perfect. So it's not using power. Now it'll give power to this. Because the first thing I want to do is make a new cube. What do we need? Uh, osmium. Need a couple of these. And it's saying we need osmium. We don't have any osmium. just not cooked. There, we have osmium now. And then we need uh, these two guys here and that guy right there. And there it is. Put this in here. And there's our advanced cube. Place this guy here and it's filling up a 
shouldn't have any problem sending power now. There we go. So now I need, I want to go ahead and set up the fluid extractor. Just gonna put it right here. I think I have to go like on this side. Nope. There we go. Like that, and now we can put uh, a tank right here on top. And these mechanical pipes. Should be extracting. Set everything to push. There we go. Um, let me see. I don't think we need to go on the top, do we? Just gonna do that so we don't waste it. We can go on the top like this. Right? And I don't need those ones. Just on the top. Push front, push top. Okay. And that should be getting all the... There we go. That's pushing all the latex out now. So as soon as I have one bucket full, should be able to make the water condenser. No, I'm in the latex processing unit. Okay, so now we have uh, a little more than a bucket in there. Go ahead and use this. To make our processing unit uh, as soon as I have a uh, block of redstone there we go so the processing unit I'm wondering if I can put this up here will it pull from the bottom it does. Cool. So it's pulling from the bottom. Now we just have to add power. And we need water as well. So there's the water. So as soon as the latex pushes through there, we will have power. I mean, I need to send it some power right now. And I'm going to make an ender cell. Let's go with the starter. Um, uh, for that, I need to make the energizer. So I think we're going to skip that for right now. I'm just going to go ahead and um, run the cables. If 
through here. Yeah, let's make it nicer like that. Probably gonna have to make some more cables. need the advanced ones. Let's just do the basic. And I think we can take it from here. That'll give us power, latex, and there's our rubber. And I don't know where Is it from behind this wall right here? Huh. Yeah, they're coming from over here. Let me go ahead and light up that area. Okay, I took care of that uh, zombie and lit up that area, so it shouldn't be making any more noise. Put uh, some of this stuff away. There we go. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to make another quick run because we're out of uraninite. Got enough rubber now, though. Uh, I just need a couple more, but for now. Got our first piece of plastic. And just waiting. You know what? If I were to power these guys up, I think they go quicker. Yep, they do. More power cables. Probably could have ran these from the bottom, but it's only temporary. Ooh, out of steel. All right, we'll just run the rest with advanced because, like I said, it's only temporary. That should be making that latex a lot faster now. Oh yeah, quite a bit faster. Good. There we go. We have our two pieces of plastic. Now we can make our water condenser. Let's just throw a couple of those in there. And we need a bucket of water. Can I grab it from... There. Alright. Water condent... Con con what is it called? Water condensator. Thought it was a water condenser. 
All right, so let's make some room if I can get up here. There we go. Let's put this machine here because it's going to get power from... There we go. So let's put this here. It gets power straight from here. And water I can put on empty mode, right? Why does it not want to work? Hmm. No worries, we'll just get another bucket. Reach it from here. Yes. And one more. Okay. That should be filling up with water. Now, I wonder if it's automatically put. I think it is. I think it's going to automatically be placing water in here from now on. So, if I were to bring this to the top and put this guy right here. I'm thinking if I put the solidifier on top right here, it's getting power. And if I gave it water, okay, I don't know why it's not giving water anymore. Let's just make a couple more mechanical pipes. Don't have enough iron. Hmm. Oops. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I had to do it like that, huh? And what's going on with this water source now? So will this, oh, okay, I was just wondering if it would automatically eject it into the machine, which it, it doesn't. Okay, so let's go ahead and put
trying to think. Okay, so what I did is I put the mechanical pipe or the solidifier over here, ran the pipe or the water through here with the push up so as to automatically filling this up, giving me constant ice. And then later I'm going to figure out a way of probably doing uh, using RF tools. Probably the tier two. Let's make one of those real quick. And there's the tier one crafter. the tier two place this guy right here and the recipe is going to be this push out no it cannot Okay, so the way I figured out to do this was I just put a hopper under here connected to the tier two and it just automatically placing it in here. And now I'm going to go with packed ice from here. So just um, you know, click on here and use packed ice as my recipe. Hit apply. So it creates blue ice. And I should put deep. Stand the input. Now I hit apply. So what it's gonna do is automatically gonna place this stuff in here. Oops, it was supposed to be packed ice. There we go. And now you can see how it placed it. So if I were to put all this in here, um, it's supposed to be putting it internal. I think now it'll work. So if I get a recipe two, go uses, hit that say all and keep internal there we go so now it's making a blue ice so the blue ice actually I think I want to have the blue ice go external and the reason for that is from here I want it to go into the other machine am I being attacked mm, no Oh, I guess uh, we were. Okay, so while I was out um, farming in the overworld, uh, when I came back, we had a pirate invasion. And I got a little overwhelmed, as you can see, all the death points. So, um, and as well, we had quite a few uh, sick people. And I think I have another one in here. Is he sick? Yes, he hasn't. So I need to give him potato and carrots. Let me give him some of that real quick. Because we don't have a hospital. We have to manually give him the stuff. Um, carrot. And I also changed our farm over here from wheat. 
I gave her, I took out all the wheat and I gave her potatoes to plant. So now we also have uh, potatoes. And where's our sick boys over here? Looks like we have another sick person in the other house. Let's go take care of these people real quick. So all we do is we go in the inventory, we give them, he already had a potato, we give him a carrot, and he will eat that and he will feel better. And let's come over here. Looks like we have, he's doing all right, but I think she wants a carrot and potatoes. Well, she has carrots and potatoes. Just give her another one then. Wake her up. Oh, she also needs dandelion, kelp, and poppy seeds. All right, let's go ahead and get that for her. And, oh. Dandelion, kelp, there you go, poppy seed. Should be eating that. There she goes. She'll feel better. And do we have anybody else that is ill? I think he just wants. Oh, he's ill as well. Okay. Carrot. I'll just keep some on me just in case. There you go. Let's see. Is there anybody else? Seems like. I think you just want materials, don't you? You want four oak gates. Oak gates. I think he wanted four of them, didn't he? Yes, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Request, fulfill. There he goes. He's got what he wants. And back downstairs. So now we have all that running. We have four ender pearls now. I don't know why we get these. There's nothing we can do with them, but part of the pack. What do we got going on in here? We have six tiny dry rubber. It needs some more water. Can I right click this in here? Yes. There we go. And he's full. Perfect. Now, oh, I can fill this guy back up, can I? And I'm just going to put this up here. Perfect. And we'll use the configurator. Shift right click it so it empties. I'm sticking, I can right click that and that'll fill that up. Perfect. Got plenty of water. Now he's putting latex in there. So we're getting water made over here as well. All right, how are you working? You seem to be doing all right. And putting that in here. It's packing our ice for us. It's making blue ice. Look at that. Is it really making ice that quick? I guess so. Oh, you know, I think it was backed up from inside the uh, the cable that we had in there. But we're making um, quite a bit of blue ice. So we're going packed ice. Making blue ice.
and it looks like that filled up. So now as soon as that fills up, it'll bring that packed ice and make some more blue ice. The two blue ice now, I can... I'm going to go ahead and... Power... We need to make... Okay, so we need to make the energizing orb that here on this list and let's go ahead and create that really quick. I mean transmitters out of range. Alright. Let's see, so all we need is one of these. So we need some more of these. There we go. Let's make that many. Okay, so there's the energizing orb. And we're also going to need, if I can remember, energizing rod basic or starter. We need another one of these. So let's go with this one. No, that's the player. I don't want the player one. I want that one. So the with these two items, I'm going to put this right here. And I'm just going to put that one right there and we need the wrench I'm gonna get rid of all these death points they're driving me crazy yeah that's a lot goodbye So with this wrench, we right click or shift right click on this guy. And as you can see, it's already linked. So we're good to go there. We get the two blue ice, and put them in here. It will turn it into dry ice. And from what I understand, the dry ice is supposed to last a lot longer in here. We'll see how much longer that lasts. And it looks like I need some more. I need some of that urine uranite. You Oh there we go. Um don't have much. So I'm gonna go grab some more. And as soon as I have some, I'll return. And we'll continue to see what how much power we can get out of this. And maybe uh, I might put um, I'm going to try to put the uh, RF tools quarry in the mining world. For that, we're going to have to see how can we transport power. Maybe we'll fill like an advanced cube or something. Oh, I know what we could do. They have solar. I think we have a few solar items actually in. Uh, I guess not. I don't know what happened to all my solar stuff that I had. It looks like when we put the new world in, it kind of destroyed it and. Looks like we need to make a new solar panels, which is fine. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go mining. I'm going to get the stuff to make the solar panels. And I'm going to make another solar panel with RF tools. Uh, 
I'm not sure which one I want to make. I'll probably just make the advanced one. It's not that complicated, and we've done it before. So I'll just make that one, and I'll put out um, the RF tools. Um, the builder, or wherever it's at. Yep, we'll make the builder. And the builder card, we already did this guy. So that's what I'm going to make right now, and I'm going to also make this. So we're going to put this in the other world, in the other mining world, so we can find, uh, it'll just make that uraninite for us. All right, well, uh, I have mined for about uh, an hour. I cleaned out a, a nice little area here. As far as my bounty goes, um, let's see what we got here. Uh, I got a few diamonds, a few raw uraninites. Not as much as I would like, but I did get some. So... Yeah, this is what it looks like clearing out a little bit of an area here. Like I said, about an hour's worth. And I don't know, the way I like uh, going after my stuff is I just do a, a full vein mine like this. Until I find what I'm looking for. And I use obsidian for my repair. And that's what my mining looks like. That's how I go after my materials until I find what I'm looking for, which is right here. And as far as repairing my obsidian or uh, getting obsidian, you know, every time I see like a little uh, lava pool like this one, I just grab my tank. Oops. Push shift and click on it, and it will uh, it will fill. And if I push the alt, I'm sorry, it's an alt and click, changes between filling and uh, emptying. So right now it's on empty, and if I use the alt and click, it will fill world. And if I push, oh, I'm sorry, I kept doing. And that will empty. Or if you want to, once you're filled up your whole area here with water, you can just push the I and do a sponge. And it will empty out everything you're looking at, including lava. Okay, I don't like leaving it on there because I accidentally sponge up stuff that I don't want to. So now, uh, headed back home. Take in the bounty. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make uh, these other materials here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And uh, next episode we'll have uh, these things made here. And I'm going to put it in the overworld. And for some reason I'm wearing a pirate's hat. And I probably should get some better um, gear too. But until then, um, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. And until next time, you guys have a great day.